Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make an automatic stair light using Arduino. This is a very interesting automation project. I hope you're gonna like this. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. This is the block diagram of the project. Arduino is the processing unit of this project. Two ultrasonic sensors are used, one for the bottom of the staircase and the second for the top of the staircase. Relays are used to control lights. Sensor 1 is placed at the bottom of the staircase and sensor 2 is placed at the top of the staircase. Eight lights are connected under the treads of the staircase. If a person is going upstairs, the sensor 1 is triggered and lights turn on one by one in a sequence from bottom to top. And after a short delay, the lights goes off one by one from bottom to top. Similarly, when a person is going downstairs, the sensor 2 is triggered and lights turn on one by one in a sequence from top to bottom. And after a short delay, the light goes off from top to bottom. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First connect Arduino, after that connect the 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that connect an ultrasonic sensor and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino, its trigger pin to A0 pin of Arduino and its echo pin to A1 pin of Arduino. After that connect another ultrasonic sensor and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino, its trigger pin to A2 pin of Arduino and its echo pin to A3 pin of Arduino. After that connect ULN 2803IC and connect its pin number 1 to pin D3 of Arduino, its pin number 2 to pin D4 of Arduino, its pin number 3 to pin D5 of Arduino, its pin number 4 to pin D6 of Arduino, its pin number 5 to pin D7 of Arduino, its pin number 6 to pin D8 of Arduino, its pin number 7 to pin D9 of Arduino, its pin number 8 to pin D10 of Arduino, its pin number 9 to ground and its pin number 10 to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 18 of the IC. After that connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block 
and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other coil pin to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common terminal of the relay, its one side pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. We have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code. Now let's see how we can connect lights to the circuit. First connect positive wire of 12V supply to common terminal of the output. After that connect positive wire of the light to normally open terminal of output. After that connect the negative wire of LED to negative power supply. All the remaining lights are connected same as this one. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test this project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.